Wilson. What do you do for a living? I am a musician. It's how I pay uh, all my <laughs> living expenses. Okay. Yeah. Do you really like doing that? Do you think you're going to do that for a lifestyle or career? I mean, music was something that I always was, no matter where I was in my life, um, it's always been a part of what I've been doing. Um, I, I got into it when I was really young uh, because my dad was a physician as well. Um, so he was very supportive and you know throughout all my school activities there was always some form of music that I was doing. So um, I, I, at a certain point I figured I've spent so much time doing this I might want you know I can capitalize on it and uh, make some money off it. So it's just a joy to be able to um, you know have that thing that's been with me my whole life to, and to be able to, it, it, it allows me to keep doing it. Who do you think your parents were a big factor in becoming a musician? Or do you think you would do it if your parents were a musician? Oh, absolutely. I think that they, um, they, they really pushed me to do, uh, to be the, the best that I could with music. Um, you know, they were always very supportive of everything that I was doing. And while you know, I did, you know, other various activities and cool and things, um, music was always kind of a constant in my life. So, uh, yeah, they absolutely loved it. So when did you first start picking up a pair of sticks and started drumming for the very first time? Like on pots and pans or...? Yeah, yeah I kind of, that, that uh, cliche drummer start when I was just really little, just hitting stuff. I couldn't keep still. I uh, had ADHD. Uh, my dad first started giving me lessons when I was about six years old, and that didn't last so long because it was, you know, the father-son dynamic is hard to learn from, but uh, he enrolled me in private lessons, and I started getting really serious about it in uh, middle school, and when it started. So would you say in elementary school you were kind of into it, or? Yeah, I, mean, I was. I remember playing, I got to play Blink-182 at the fourth grade talent show. Felt cool for a day, you know. So, what would you say your most powerful influence was beside your parents and getting into drumming career? Uh, definitely uh, music education and uh, the private teachers I've had along the way. Um, I, I've had a lot of uh, fabulous teachers uh, throughout the years. People that have taught at the universities around here, and uh, also had the opportunity to go to master classes from you know professional drummers um, and being able to see what those you know just like you know drum giants were doing uh, really had a, a deep impact on me in the way that I um, you know just was wanting to learn everything that there was about the instrument. What would you say the future would be? Uh... The future for me. Um, there's a lot of different opportunities, and um, what I want to do is just try to take as many as of them as I can. Um, I'm in school right now, so still trying to absorb information, kind of in that learning stage. So I guess we, we all are, you know. Um, but then, you know, through school, I'm just taking a bunch of freelance gigs. Uh, teaching is a big part that you, uh, is a necessity for any musician. Uh, you need to be able to teach, uh, pass along the knowledge. Um, also, writing music and arranging it, um, you know, those are the things that will actually pay you the big bucks. <laughs> um, because performing, unfortunately, is not one of the, it's, you know, you can't support a family on that kind of musician's budget. Uh, especially with, um, you know, as electronic music becomes more and more popular, uh, you know, the musicians are starting to become more and more expendable. So we have to learn how to adapt um, into the changing industry. Um, and so that's kind of, that's where I'm looking for, is to be able to, you know, just take as many opportunities that are willing to come my way. So what advice would you give to new upcoming time drummers or just musicians in general when first starting out? Um, j just, my advice for any upcoming people is just to, to just love the craft. To um, be complete, to immerse yourself in um, all aspects of drumming. Understand that there's not one style that's better than the other. Nobody, I, I don't, I, I don't even like the terms better um, at all because it's, it's such a subjective art form, and it's all just, it's, it's really an art. Um, and so to, you know, to immerse yourself in all different styles and have a, you know, to be, to show up to as many events as possible too. Um, it's. <laughs> The networking that's the biggest part of it. You need to be showing up to the jam sessions, you need to be, you know, making these bands on your own. Um, you know, devote, like, the practice time is just a given. You, you need to have a, 
a, there's a certain level of prerequisite knowledge that you um, is expected of musicians in the uh, professional field that you need to be able to do without thinking about it. So, you know, have that under your belt and then, you know, just go out and meet people, just talk, try to show your face and that's how you build the connections to be able to get you to the places where you need to be.